Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So let's take a look at the energies for your next 7 days. What needs your attention? Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. Guys, some of you may have to make a decision. You may have options as well, Seven of Cups. And you have to decide what you want to pursue moving forward. The Queen of Swords is an encouragement because it's all about clarity and the ability to speak up in a powerful way. This can be about your career, to be honest. The Page of Pentacles in this version has a vibe that is in favor of the opportunity to take a chance. And some of you may decide to take a chance on yourself when it comes to the opportunity to pursue new endeavors that can allow you to achieve new results, new goals, and this can be almost an exciting opportunity, but you cannot get caught in the excitement, you know? You have to evaluate everything, and the A-Priestess is about that. We got a couple of interesting Oracle cards, guys, because healing and integration are kind of interesting together because we can think about the opportunity to make the best possible decision in our own interest by taking into consideration a variety of factors that should be integrated together in the best possible way. And then we got the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine combination of energies, uh, which is super interesting and extremely powerful. You have to balance things out. You have to think about the opportunity to grow, you know, maybe in new endeavors, that can see you involved, but you also have to figure out the proper plan in order to transform into action the steps that can be the most beneficial for you. The Eight of Cups that we got as our focus is all about leaving behind a situation that maybe was positive in the past, but now doesn't represent anymore a source of satisfaction, you know, or a challenge even, in order to prove our value our talents, you know, and this can be sometimes a reason that can bring a person to pack their bag in order to hit the road and pursue something new. This is something that uh, some of you can do when it comes to your career. If it is about a romantic connection, guys, we can say that there can be indecision, there can be a touch of confusion, you have to go within, high priestess, and then if you are not satisfied with the overall situation or your special person, let's say, when it comes to the alchemy of the connection, if it is difficult to find agreements together, you will have to speak up, you will have to face an important conversation that can still allow those of you that can resonate to make an important decision, an important choice uh, that can also bring you down a different path, yeah? So let's see what we can get about these energies because the Queen of Swords is ready to talk and she has something important to say. And those around there better pay attention. Here we go. Hermit. Another energy about wisdom, guys, taking a moment in order to evaluate if a job is a star opportunity, if a romantic connection is a star connection, and the Hermit for me is also the ability to unlock secrets about the journey. Integration Oracle card. The opportunity to harmonize factors in a productive way. And if we think about the Seven of Cups as an energy that can be overwhelming, you truly have to go within High Priestess so that you can give even more power to the Queen of Swords. You can choose wisely the most appropriate words in order to convey a precise message that can even set you free if you decide to move in a different direction. Justice energy, right and fair decision, looking for balance, looking for fairness. Then this energy can even become one about legal matters if some of you are married and are kind of evaluating the opportunity to move in a different direction. The Hermit can be an energy about singlehood for me the willingness to embrace a moment of solitude. It can be an option, guys. Knight of Pentacles. This is an offer. It can be, for me, 
the offer of commitment that never comes because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest of the four. So this can be a factor that can work as a catalyst for some of you in order to make an important decision about a romantic connection that maybe stopped developing, you know? And so if it is not possible to heal the situation together with your person, the energies are kind of describing the opportunity to evaluate the situation in order to make the decision to move in a different direction. If we think about work, guys, the Knight of Pentacles can be the proper mindset in order to achieve positive results. It can be about aspirations because the Page of Pentacles for me wants to learn. He is the most diligent between the four pages. You may have the potential to become a Knight of Pentacles moving forward, but in order to do that, you may have to change the landscape of the situation. And so this means also that you may have to look for a different job. This can be the right and fair decision from your perspective, but you have to think about it deeply and extremely well because a change may ask for a price and the price can be related to the necessity to face a transition that can be super important because maybe some of you can even change location uh, considering the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. It seems that we are going for a change, guys, if we follow these energies. What you don't see coming, Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Cups and the Three of Wands. Guys, this one seems to be a romantic situation. Interesting connection for some of you with a person that maybe you have met kind of recently. For others, it can be a friend if we follow the Three of Cups. It seems that the two of you have tried to give structure to a romantic connection. You were single, Nine of Pentacles, available, kind of looking for the right opportunity to build for the future, Three of Wands, which is an energy about expectations. But at the same time, some expectations may have been let down because of the alchemy, the overall alchemy of the connection. So the Five of Cups can become a missed chance. We know the drill with the energy. It's meaningful considering the Three of Cups on the table. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. It's an exercise in balance that can be meaningful for you and for your person of interest. The two of you should be able to do the work in order to give a real chance to the connection. But if this is not possible, if it is not possible to find agreements in order to integrate multiple factors in favor of a romantic connection to thrive, it can be difficult to heal the situation. And that's why the Eight of Cups as our focus can come up as an unexpected outcome because maybe the connection was fun for a while, but is the vision the same if we think about the Three of Wands? And someone can get disappointed if we follow the Five of Cups. So it can be about you, but it can also describe your person because maybe they were thinking that everything was fine and the potential decision to go down a different direction maybe can catch them out of surprise. It seems that if you resonate with the Nine of Pentacles energy, you can take a moment for yourself in order to think if this connection is truly the one that you want at this stage of the journey. But, you know, the choice may be kind of different from the one that your person of interest is picturing in their mind. It seems a fun connection, kind of no strings attached so far, uh, the opportunity to share some time together, enjoying each other's company, that's for sure. But what about the Three of Wands? What about the vision that should be manifested together? So let's see what we can get, guys. Here we go. High Priestess going within. It can give power to the Nine of Pentacles version of the card. The lady is uh, reading a book. So it's also the opportunity to gather knowledge about another person, you know, discovering things about each other. Can we, can we be a good match for each other? Do we want the same type of progression if we think about a romantic connection? There can be a lot of attraction between the two of you, but the match should be manifested into reality by taking into consideration a variety of factors. This is super important. Ten of Wands. This is the last mile, guys, for me. So someone can try to hold on to the connection 
because the opportunity can be perceived as a positive one, but it takes two to tango. King of Cups. This is an energy about emotional maturity, guys. I want to say that the two of you can be mature enough to realize that this can be a positive opportunity. The point is that considering our focus, the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands, when it comes to clear intentions, the point seems to be the one about the opportunity, especially for some of you, to keep your feelings under the surface of the water because it's almost as if you can realize that, yes, this connection can be a funny one, you know, a pleasant one, let's say, but love with the capital L is a whole different story, you know, a whole different ball game. And maybe you can like this person, yes, and they can like you as well, but feelings, emotions, a love that can almost take our breath away is something different. And if it is something different, the realization that this connection can be something smaller uh, can represent the catalyst in order to manifest the Eight of Cups. Because this can be a positive opportunity, but not quite the one that can make a heart beat faster, you know? And so this is what some of you can find out, it seems, out of the blue, almost out of surprise, but it's an important turning point. It's an important crossroads in itself. And some of you can decide to keep looking for the type of connection that can represent a real wish fulfillment for you. And if you ask me, the courage to avoid to settle for something that is not quite the thing that we are looking for is a courageous decision and it deserves to be respected, you know? Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.